At the Divine Word Catholic Church in Kayole, 42 couples came together before God and man to finally be joined together in holy matrimony. <laughs> Music, dance, and ululation fill the air as family, friends, and faithful came together to witness this couple's also members of the church say, I do. <laughs> this couple, Jane Washuma and George Nyamongo, has been living together for the last 20 years and say the opportunity offered by the church provided them with an easier route to solemnize their union without too much financial burden. We decided uh, to, to, make, uh, to come to church so that uh, uh, we can, our, our, our marriage can be blessed. And the challenges we were facing was uh, financially strained. And when church decided that uh, they're going to cut up for us for other expenses, then we decided let us uh, join uh, church so that our marriage can be blessed. Nyamongo admits that living with a partner may not be easy, but marriage is about sacrifice and commitment to the institution and partner. You have to understand each other. You know, marriage is not a smooth, uh, smooth life. You are, but you have to understand, you have to forgive each other, you have to, because nobody's a, when you marry somebody or stay with somebody, he's not an angel. We're not an angel. You, you're born to have mistakes and she's born to make mistakes. But uh, in due course, you understand each other. The most important thing is forgiving each other. On his part, the presiding priest, Wallace Nganga, called on all intending to walk a similar path to take the marriage institution seriously and know that the vows taken are binding, even in turbulent times. With the vows done and the wedding certificate signed, this couple's now officially joined the church by receiving the holy sacrament of marriage and are now fully recognized as partners until death do them part. <laughs> The mass wedding was also symbolic for the church that was celebrating 22 years since its inception. Caroline Kamar reporting for Channel 1 Weekend.